Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are back to back. Back to back? That's, that's the procedure where we don't leave. We just go vudunk vudunk and we back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, ladies back, and gentlemen? Back. back at it, like a crack at it. Yep. Never alone on the show. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know what it is. Back with another one. If you are new to our space, hit the subscribe button. Definitely. Leave a like, share the video. Leave a comment. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're Mobile, back. We're back. We're back. We're back. Welcome, Mobile. welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, can I just say, dog? What's popping? Yo, your, your swag. Your it's, swag. A bit, it's a bit different today. Your swag. You see what Sure pulled up at that? You see what Sure pulled up with that Sure? That's that. Let us man. know what you think about his hey, man. swag. This is Kali, man. I'm feeling this <laughs> shit. You see, the set designer knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah, bro. I'm holding it down. Yeah, but anyway, uh, we're back with another reaction video. Uh, yeah. This one, we're doing the 10 biggest lies about the Philippines. Lies. As we lies. 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 There's facts and there's lies. Why are there's people truth lying about and the Philippines? Lies. How dare they? Yeah, dog. People got so we, much audacity. Yeah, we're gonna see what all the lies are about. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the one we're doing today. Yep. And um, yeah. Is there anything you want to say before we get into it? Let's pull out some shoutouts. All right, all right, all right. Let's pull out some Ladies shout -outs. and gentlemen, we're about to get into it. Let us know in the comment section some of the things, uh, if there's any things missing on this video. Let us know in the comment section. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, so you're not going to pull um, out the shoutouts? Oh, that's what I shout said. Out. My, you, the, you see, the, ladies and gentlemen, the thing is with this guy, his English sometimes flies over me. So he says, I the said, shout out. The shout out. I didn't hear this that. I didn't hear he I, says, did, he I said, did not guys, hear that. Take, take it back and look at his mannerism. He was just like, okay. Okay. I'm, not, I, I'm like, <laughs> this guy, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I love my fans. I lo <laughs> guys, I terribly love you guys. I need to give shout outs. You know what I mean? Yeah. The shout out for this one goes to, um, there's a guy called, uh, see, ladies and gentlemen, I read the shout out stuff. Shit. That's the shout out, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so the shout out for this one goes to Darwin, Darwin spread love, not war. That's, that one's that's pretty his. love, not war. Yeah. I've seen that nigga. That nigga's an original gang. Yeah. He's a, he's, he's a G. He's a G. Oh, G. If it's a she, if I it's a you, you will find out. Yeah. But anyway, shout out to you. Shout out anybody to you. can You're be always against here. Them. Yeah. You're always here, and we appreciate the love yeah. and the support. We can get it. So, without any further ado. Yeah, let's do. just run it before Top Boy thinks we talk too much. Yeah. Shout let's out to you, go. homie. I hope you're good. Yeah, let's, let's get into it. It's not starting. Oh, and then we go. The Philippines is a country that we love to talk about here in FTD Facts. So much can be said about the beauty of the country as well as the beauty of the people. Yet, even still, there are many stereotypes, misconceptions, and straight up lies that have been put on as labels on the country and its people. Welcome back to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton, and for this episode, I'm going to be looking at 10 of the biggest lies, stereotypes, and misconceptions right. about the Philippines. Okay, so Shout let's get into this boy. list at number 10. Filipino women are submissive and quiet. Like every other country, though, women come in a variety. Oh. They're not quiet. They've been talking in our comment no, section. What is, what is they this guy talk? talking about? <laughs> but that's well, a lie. It's a lie. It's a lie that yeah. they're quiet. So he's on our side. Yeah, I think so. Okay, okay yeah. cool. Heidi of attitude. Some a little bit more attitude prone than others. But either way, Filipinas are just a uh, conservative type of woman. According to sources, Filipino women, they find it uncomfortable to mingle or even interact with male foreigners and even their own men. They also have a reputation of being quiet and shy, but this is... That's, that's a lie, because... I mean, we... we ladies have... be talking... Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess, I guess it's simple and, and, and on social talking. media. It's, it's easy on social media. But I guess it's a lie. Oh, it's a lie, so they, they are talkative. 
normally because that they feel that they don't have the adequate skill of speaking English to the foreigners. So instead of speaking nonsense, they remain silent. The next lie is that the Philippines is... Okay, that was a lie. That's a lie. What, what, what the hell, bro? They talk, bro. They talk. No. What do you mean they don't... They don't... One I, agree, I agree with this guy. That's yeah, a lie. That's a thorough lie, bro. Yeah. The mass. This is something that I've been guilty of thinking myself. But there's actually over 7,000 islands that make up the Philippines, and around yeah, 2,000 of them are yeah. inhabited. Yeah. And this is known as an archipelago, which archipelago. is a collection of islands or sometimes a sea containing a small number of scattered islands. Wow. Now, the Philippines has a total land area of 300,000 square kilometers, which works out to be 115,831 square miles. Yeah, this makes it the world's largest island country. The Philippine archipelago is divided into three island groups, Luzon, Visayas, as well as Mindao. The lie number eight is Filipinos don't speak English. So when tourists that, visit... That's a lie. That's that's a straight up lie. That's the dumbest lie anybody can Bruh. make up though. What do you mean? Oh, bruh. Come on. What do you mean people don't speak English, bruh? Okay, well, I mean, about. we also have our own stereotypes. I guess people think, you know, Africans are primitive as well. Like, you don't yeah. speak like this or behave like this, you know what I mean? Yeah, true, true. That's so true. I get, I get, they have stereotypes. Because they're narcissists, bruh. Yeah. Philippines, they're usually surprised at the fact that Filipinos, they actually learn English as their first language. Most Filipinos also learn it alongside Tagalog growing up. Although some Filipinos will have a distinct accent while speaking English, English-speaking tourists will have little or no trouble at all communicating with them. And this actually leads us to our next lie. And this lie is that Filipinos only speak Tagalog. This lie and misconception is similar to the idea that Chinese people speak Chinese, when in fact they speak a wide variety of languages like Mandarin, Cantonese, etc. In the Philippines though, Tagalog is one of many dialects spoken in the country. Back in the year 1937, the government they adopted Tagalog, elevating its status as a national language of the Philippines, also calling it Filipino. And it has since become mixed with other existing Philippine dialects, as well as foreign languages like English and Spanish. Now, when it comes to native languages and dialects, there are more than 200 in the entire yeah, country. You know Number six, all Filipinos share the exact same culture. So being an archipelago, like I mentioned earlier, historically, there was no actual Philippines to refer to. The that's different a groups of islands being separated. Uh, that's a light table, bro. I don't think, yeah. You really think there was nobody's living there? They no, probably killed bro. every the native people there. I'm yeah. sure there were native people. That's Let us lie. know in the comment section. Why would you say the so it was just islands? I didn't like by large bodies of water, they contain their own distinct culture and language and traditions. Because of this, they were very distinct from each other. So then the movement for United Philippines didn't come until the arrival of the Spanish, which was much later on though. All right guys, so we're halfway in this episode. We have five more lies to look at. And for more information about Philippines, I definitely want you to check out our video where we did 10 surprising facts about the Philippines. It is a mind-blowing episode. It's such a beautiful country. So much to learn about it. I'll link to it below in the video description section so you can check it out after this. All right, continuing with the lies. In at lie number five, we have Filipinos are nannies and call center agents. That's all they're good for. Okay, so Filipinos may just be very good at delivering these types of services and because of that, there's a high demand for their skills in other countries. However, not everyone shares the same dream job interest. There's actually millions and millions of Filipinos living and working overseas with completely different professions, like doctors and nurses and singers. Yeah, Filipinos sing really good. Like That's Mila. another stereotype, but uh, I think Mila. there's like some facts to that. You'll find Filipino entrepreneurs, IT specialists, engineers, and the list goes on and on and on and on and on. But uh, come on, that's pretty obvious. Like, bruh, I don't know why people think. That, that's obvious. What do you think? Like, hey, man, I mean, so, I mean, you can stay first world, bro. Yeah. So, no, 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 they're not just nannies and they don't just work 
in call centers overseas. So I have four in Manila is the main business district, and this is something that I thought as well. I'm not gonna lie. Contrary to what many foreigners think, most of the embassies and big firms, banks, and insurance companies, they're actually located in Makati and Taguig City. Makati and Taguig are located within the Greater Manila area. Now, Manila is the capital city of the Philippines, and it is one of the most populated cities, but it is not necessarily where all the main action happens. Number three, have you heard this one before? Dog meat is regularly eaten and served. Okay, all right, so, no, they don't. Okay, I'm glad that's a lie. Who the fuck would think people what? eat dogs, bro? Yeah, bro, that's, why, why would they even why think isn't so, Why that is that even okay that you think people eat dogs? What the fuck? Just just clarify for us in the comment section Maybe if you know. Do. Let us know how how did this come about because behind every 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 lie there's there's a theory no, behind I don't, it. I don't think people talk though. No, I'm not saying they, they do. It's a lie, bro. It's, I'm it's sure a lie. It's a lie. Yeah. But, but how how did that lie come about? Like if somebody has like an an, an, an explanation or an understanding of um, how the lie came about yeah, that people maybe. in the Philippines exactly. eat, eat dogs, so yeah. I get you. Don't sell dog meat in Filipino supermarkets and grocery stores. Uh-uh. Eating dogs in Philippines is it's a very taboo topic and there actually are a few small groups, mostly of them are in the northern region of the country in the mountain province where indigenous people as well as their ancestors have had a history of eating dog meat, but you're not gonna be finding it at restaurants or they had a history of but is that true? I don't know. I don't know. Let us know in the comment section. Wonder what it tastes like. Cool us, ladies and gentlemen. Does it, has, has any of you guys had some dog dog meat? Let us know. And grocery stores just like that. No, that doesn't exist. Number two, Filipinos date foreigners for money and papers. All right, guys. So these ideas are largely perpetuated because of shows like 90 Day Fiance. Let's be honest, okay? But not all Filipinos dream of becoming an American or a British citizen or whatever. Some just love to travel and meet new people along the way. Just because Filipinos date and marry foreigners also doesn't. Mean but that's 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 one of the things. Like when I when I went overseas um, to the mm. Netherlands, that's one of the things that um, I struggle with. Remember, you know, I had I had a relationship with, and mm. that's one of the the perceptions that people had because I, I I'm an African and mm. I was dating this. This European lady, so you lady, so, money. Yeah, that's that's the yeah, perception that you, people, a lot you, of people had. Stereotypical that, mentality. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you, yeah so yeah. I, I kind of, I, I know what you they relate. Talk, what, yeah, I can relate to that. Crazy. Yeah. That's, that's unnecessary. Yeah. I mean that they're just looking for visa applications, making that whole process easier and everything. Filipinos, they can afford to fund their own travels themselves, get their visas, and do their jobs in foreign countries. So they don't necessarily need a foreign partner to do so. Marrying a Filipino actually does not mean that the foreigner has to support the Filipino's family the either. You know, there's a lot of times okay. where people move overseas and it's like, okay, well, you gotta send money back to my family. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, but it's unfair to label Filipinos with that stereotype. And yes, so it is a sad reality that because they date foreigners, it's assumed that they're just gold diggers. But if you actually think about it, just because someone dates somebody from a foreign country, doesn't mean that that person is rich either. So yeah, something to think about there. And now moving on to our biggest lie in this episode, Philippines. It's a very dangerous country. Now we've all seen the news reports, many foreigners, they hear about Philippines war on drugs among other struggles that they have in the country. And this has led foreigners to think that the Philippines is a place of criminals and kidnappers everywhere. Now there are of course several unfortunate issues in the country, but overall away from the hot spots of criminal activity. I mean, that, I think this is but also, there's something hey man, they don't know nothing to, about crime, bro. We have every crime the, out Yeah, here, I mean, bro. like, level, oh, but also with that, that I know we have tr crime, you know, like we have crime. crime. 
But it's not, bro. I know South Africa is dangerous, but it also depends on where, where you are. are you Why know? would you be in a dangerous place when you exactly. have so it's other not places like that are not dangerous? Yeah. Everywhere you go, you're gonna. Then you stop saying that shit. You with know? countries, they're like, oh, it's dangerous. Yeah. It's like, oh, what the fuck, bro? You know, it it depends no, on where you, where, where you at, like where we are. You know. Hey, man. You know, so it's, it's just. No, but theoretically, where we are, this is dangerous now. Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, but bro. We're in the hood, anything, bro. I know we're in the hood. But then nothing happens in general. Yeah, right? nothing, I mean, like it depends on. Nobody's just gonna run in and be like, "Yo, guy, you in the hood." Yeah, I'm gonna shoot now because you're in the hood. Yeah, I mean, if I go in an alley in town now, definitely, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm fucked. True. You know what I mean? I asked for it. There are many beautiful places and safe places that you'll see in the Philippines. Not just the resorts designed for tourists, but many local places as well. Completely safe. All right, guys, so this concludes this episode. This was a look at 10 of the biggest lies about the Philippines. Hope this helped clear up some misconceptions. The country of the Philippines and Filipinos, they are an amazing group of people. Here at yep. Facts, we do our best to show love and appreciation to all people I in our that. world. And really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to check out the recommended yep, we'll video. I'll link to it again in the yep. video description like section. And until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay educated. I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, shout out to this guy, bro. Shout out to this guy. He, that was really mm -hmm. informative. Shout out Pretty to honest him. as well. Yeah, he was honest. We'll leave the link on the description Definitely. for that video. So yeah. You can also check it out. Yeah, you can check it out. Yeah, no, uh, well, that was that just our the day. reaction to, 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 to the 10 surprising things about yeah. the Philippines. So, hope you enjoyed our commentary reaction. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Maybe As we'll always, touchdown, bro. we appreciate the all the love. Else, man. All man. the love. Shut out. Shut so, out. the next one. Do you know where we can get chickens?